Welcome back students. In this video, I will show you how to convert temperature from the Celsius to Kelvin scale and from the Kelvin scale to the Celsius scale. Before we begin with conversion, let us look at the different scales of measuring temperature. We have the Kelvin scale which is written as K. We have the Celsius scale denoted as degree Celsius and we have the Fahrenheit scale denoted as degree Fahrenheit. Kelvin is the SI unit of temperature. The relationship between the Celsius and the Kelvin scale can be stated as follows. 0 degrees Celsius equals to 273.16 Kelvin. But for convenience sake, we will write 0 degrees Celsius equals to 273 Kelvin. We'll start with a few examples and at the end of it, you should be able to do the conversions quite easily. Let's begin by converting temperature from the Celsius scale to the Kelvin scale. To convert temperature from the Celsius to the Kelvin scale, we add 273 to the given temperature. Let's begin by taking an example. If we are to convert 20 degrees Celsius to Kelvin, we will use the formula Kelvin is equal to degree Celsius plus 273. Now using this formula and substituting the value of degree Celsius given, we will proceed with the calculations that is the conversion. So we will get Kelvin is equal to 20 plus 273. This will give us 293 Kelvin. Now from where did we get this 20? This is given here in degrees Celsius. So since we are converting it, we are substituting the value of degree Celsius given and adding it to 273 to get the temperature in Kelvin. Let us take another example. We will see how to convert 373 degrees Celsius to Kelvin. Again, we are taking the same formula, which is K is equal to degree Celsius plus 273. So let's see what is given here first. We are given the temperature in degree Celsius, which is 373. Substituting the value of the temperature given, we will proceed further. So we get K is equal to 373 plus 273 and what will that give us? That gives us 646 Kelvin. Now let us see how we will convert temperature when it is given in Kelvin. So the next conversion will be from the Kelvin scale to the Celsius scale. To convert Kelvin to Celsius scale, we will subtract 273 from the given temperature. So let's take an example where we have to convert 293 Kelvin to degree Celsius. We will use the formula degree Celsius equals to Kelvin minus 273. Now let's look at what is given here. What is given is the temperature in Kelvin and the value is 293. Using this formula and substituting the value of the temperature given in Kelvin, we will get degree Celsius is equal to 293 minus 273 which is giving us 20 degree Celsius. 
Let's take another example where we have to convert 470 Kelvin to degree Celsius. So let's use the formula degree Celsius is equal to Kelvin minus 273. Now look at what is given. The temperature is given in Kelvin and the temperature is 470. So substituting the value in the formula, we get degree Celsius equals to 470 minus 273. This will give us 197 degree Celsius. Here are some tips that we need to keep in mind. What is the freezing point of water in degree Celsius and in Kelvin? Water freezes at 0 degree Celsius or at 273 Kelvin and water boils at 100 degree Celsius or 373 Kelvin. What would be the physical state of water at the given temperatures? At 25 degree Celsius, water is found to be in the liquid state. This is the room temperature and at room temperature, we know that water is found in the liquid state. The temperatures from 0 degree Celsius to 100 degree Celsius is known as the transition state wherein water is going to change from the liquid to the solid state or from the liquid to the gaseous state. Now 0 degree Celsius as I have shown you in the previous slide it is the freezing point of water. So what happens when it is the freezing point of water? Water which is in the liquid state is going to transition and become solid which is ice. So at 0 degrees Celsius we will find water to be in the transition state that is in the liquid or solid state. At 100 degrees Celsius which is the boiling point of water we will find water to be in the liquid state or in the gaseous state. This again is the transition state of water. I do hope you have found this video useful. Do practice your conversions from the Celsius to the Kelvin scale and the Kelvin to the Celsius scale. Thank you.